Hi, I'm Dr. Amanda Dooley, and I am the Brain Lab Manager at the University of Montana Spectrum Discovery Area. So today for Brain Awareness Week, we're going to learn about our memory. So there are different types of memory, and the reason we found that there are different types of memory was because there was a patient named patient HM, and he had severe seizures. So he had all of his neurons in his brain were misfiring, sending electrical signals when they weren't supposed to, and it was affecting his life. And so the doctors went and said, well, we can remove that part of your brain. We don't know what it does, but we can remove it um, so that you don't have seizures anymore. So when he was 27, he had this operation done where he, both sides of his brain, this piece that was removed. Um, and they found that when he woke up, he could no longer form new memories. So what he can remember is his past life, but he couldn't form new memories. So you have what's called a working memory, and that's the front part of your brain, of about three to five minutes, and anything longer than that has to be stored. The part of the brain that does that is called the hippocampus, and that is what the, the doctors removed in this poor patient's brain, so he could, could not form new memories. But through him, we learned that muscle memory, so you know how you know how to ride a bike. You just do it. Your muscles know how to do it. Um, or if you know how to do a certain swim stroke, your muscles just know how to do it. That's called motor muscle memory. Um, you don't need the hippocampus to form motor memories. And so we're going to do an activity today, and we're going to learn a new motor skill using a piece of paper, a star, and a mirror. So we have a mirror, and we have this star, which has two lines. It won't work if with just one line. So what your goal is to use the mirror to look at the star and you're going to have your pen in between the two lines and use the mirror to trace it. So right now I can actually cheat and look at it. So I'm going to have a partner to hold this over so I can't see and I can only use the mirror and now I'm going to go It's harder than you think. <laughs> that was hard. Like, how do I go back? So there's another fun motor memory uh, activity that we're going to do. So with one hand, you're going to make a peace sign. With the other hand, you're going to make an L. And at the same exact time, you're going to switch which hand is doing the L and which hand is doing the peace sign. So you ready? Switch back. Switch back. So right now, our hands are in our field of vision, so we can see our hands. So this is easy for you, and I do this all the time, so right now this is kind of easy for me. So it's easy for me, so I'm going to go back here, so I can't see my hands and see if I can still do this. So I must have good muscle memory. So if you guys keep doing it, You'll build connection between your neurons, and you'll get better and better at it, and then it'll be really easy for you to be able to recall that motor memory response.